Hi, my name is Heather Mason. Uh, I'm the Microbial Product Sales Specialist here at Particle Measuring Systems. Today I'd like to talk about our non-viable liquid particle counter, the APPS 2000. This is good for injectables, water for injection, medical device, parts cleanliness, optical solutions, and filter efficiency testing. So how do we count particles? USP 788 has two different methods for counting particles. There's the microscopic method. You're looking through a microscope, a technician is counting them physically, and usually this is only used when there's reduced clarity or increased viscosity in a sample. The other method is light obscuration. Light obscuration is not manual, it's fully automated. It's the best solution for subvisible particles. 100% of your fluid flow is analyzed and your results are repeatable, which means that you don't have to spend all day long counting and then having a backup counter. There's a syringe sampler inside um, and the software is on an external laptop. So with the app 2000, we have a power button. We have a status button. When this is green, the instrument is ready and this over here is the stand. This is an adjustable stand. This goes up and down to meet your sample. Your sample is placed here. Sample goes through the syringe, up into the sampler, down through this pump, and then out the instrument. Meanwhile, the software is recording all of the data related to non-viable particles. The APPS 2000 has an adjustable stand. This can be raised up and down depending on the size of your sample. has different types of syringes. This is the flexible tubing, which can be easily removed and replaced with a needle. So we have flat needles, and then we have a coring needle. The coring needle can be used to puncture a sterile bag. We have different size needles. The F2000 has three different accessories. We have a magnetic stirrer. This is placed directly on the base, and this keeps the sample in motion for the entire process. We have an ultrasonic bath. This also keeps the sample in motion for the entire process. And then we have an IV bag holder. So if you have an IV bag, it hooks directly onto this holder and goes directly inside the instrument. So let's start the instrument. This is the main display that you'll see when you open sampler site. You'll see the six buttons, um, the start, the stop, uh, the configuration, what recipe you're running. This one is your data review, which data has been in here, your library. And this is your activity log. It shows any time you go into the software which makes the 21 CFR compliance. And again, this will be your main menu. Your particle data is gonna end up being over here on your left-hand side. So I'm gonna go ahead and start a sample real quick so that you can see that data. Okay, so here we can see uh, the samples going through. You can see these columns all represent the uh, channels for which the particles are going through. We have two micron, five micron, 10 micron, 15 micron, and 25 micron. Um, this is the percent of the total. We're also gonna see uh, the sampler, what the instrument is doing, it's filling. I currently have this configured to EP 2.9.19, uh, large volume. I have a discard set up in the software so that the first sample is not counted. Um, I have intervals between them. You'll see the flow status over here. That flow status is showing that there's no blockage. There's a laser status that also shows good where there's no issues with the laser and my alarm status. So each recipe can be set up to have an alarm. If you have more particles than allowed, uh, you'll see that it failed, just like my sample has failed right now. Up here, you'll see your raw counts. We have cumulative and differential. The cumulative is the total count, the total number of 15 micron, 25 micron, and you can see your results. Now, if I wanted to do a report on this, 
I have to stop my sample first. Here are some of the ways that we can configure. We have uh, the display, where you can do a cumulative, you can do a differential, your choice. We can do raw data. We can also do counts per mil. We can set it up to do counts per container. Those are all able to be done there. You can add labels for your batch, your lot, your location, for your instrument ID. All of your channels can be set. So if you are using a something other than the two micron, five micron, 10 micron, 15 micron, and 25 micron, then you would be able to type in whatever you needed. So the report generator, you can pull up a summary or details of all your collected data. You can tell where anything has passed or failed. You can set this, um, you can select a range. You can select any time. Um, here's your batch, here's your lot, here's your location, here's your instrument ID. Again, they can be sorted from any of those requirements. And then you'll simply open them to get the details. All of these reports can be printed. You can see the exact detailed information under here. This red one has a failure, which can be printed also, and you can see the failure on the report. Pretty simple. So let's go into security. We can do security. We talked about adding administrators, users, and supervisor. Um, well, you can set up each one of those in this. You can also do groups. You have, can do different responsibilities under administrators. One person could be an administrator and have certain levels of access. Uh, and one person could be an administrator and have all levels. You can set it to users and give a user only the ability to hit this green button. You can do a supervisor and they would have a little bit more responsibility. All of that can be added into here. And all of that is secured with a password for each individual user. So one of the most important features that we have is the calibration verification. So under view, there is calibration. So I'm gonna click on that calibration and I'm gonna do different calibrations. I can do my two micron, five micron. The important thing here is that I'm verifying that my channel sizes are correct. I would buy standard particles and test this. You could do this monthly, you could do it weekly, you could even do it before each use. Uh, most people do it monthly, so this can help with investigations and rule out that the instrumentation was not the problem. So when you purchase an APPS 2000, it includes a particle counter, syringe sampler, software, and a validation manual. It comes with flexible sampling options. You can have tubing, you can have needles, you can use a magnetic stirrer, an ultrasonic bath, or an IV bag holder. And the software is simple yet functional. It's graphical, tabular. You can generate reports either manually or automatic. And the entire system is 21 CFR Part 11 compliant and then you have a calibration wizard to ensure that your instrument is always in calibration. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, please visit us at pmeasuring.com.